the players that are playing in the U.S. and when you look at the international level, the highest level of basketball is in the U.S. It's in the NBA. Is there more pressure on you? Do you think that because you are the face, that everyone has to live up to your level? I mean, it's a different kind of pressure, I guess. It's not the type of pressure that, uh, you know, I get nervous. It's the type of pressure that I feel like I always have to perform well because, uh, you know, there are a lot of people, a lot of fans and players also that's looking up to me and uh, sometimes setting me as a standard. So I always got to perform at my best and uh, I'm totally aware of that. And, uh, you know, I mean, for me, it's, it's the start of, uh, I think it's the rise of Philippine basketball where a lot of players are exploring uh, different, uh, different levels of the game. And uh, I'm just happy to see, you know, a lot of players explore and uh, do great. Speaking of exploring, um, there was headlines recently when Will Navarro was barred mm -hmm. from playing. Uh, you expressed your, I guess, distaste with what was happening. Now that time has passed, do you still have the same position that you held when you sent out that tweet? Yeah, I mean, uh, ever since ever since before, uh, I just felt like, uh, I mean, it felt like some people were trying to stop those players to come out the country and then you know explore but I mean it's their own decision uh, if I was in their place I would have done the same thing you know I mean you can always go back to the Philippines that's your home at the end of the day you're still you're still Filipino you still come back there but you no know, you only live once you don't know how long your career is so I mean at a young age just go go out and explore and try new stuff and uh, just go to the what you think will help you get better and uh, just uh, yeah, explore. What makes it different from training in the Philippines, whether it's in Manila or anywhere there, to being able to train elsewhere? I think for me, from my experience, it's different because when I trained in the U.S., you're basically around the players that are playing in the U.S. And when you look at the international level, the highest level of basketball is in the U.S., it's in the NBA. And uh, I just, the experience that I had training with guys that are trying to get in uh, the league and also that are already in the NBA, it really uh, helped me uh, open my awareness on how good these guys really are. And uh, I think that's the difference. I mean, wherever you train, you'll still get better. Uh, it's, 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 it's like, it depends on you as a person and as a player. But, you know, the experience is different because you're going against... Uh, you know, a higher, higher level, higher caliber of, of basketball players and also the trainers and the coaches as well. Did you think that it was this good? When you were playing in Manila, did you think that the, the level of training that you needed was able to get in Manila or when you came out it was like, okay, it's a completely different world and I was wrong? I think I wasn't really shocked. I think, uh, I think it's just based on the I think it's just based on me. If I if I really wanted to get better, I can get better uh, by myself. But I think what America has to uh, Philippines is probably they got more resources here. They got lots of trainers. They got lots of people who helps the players get better. Some might say trainers in the Philippines might be better, but there's just a lot of trainers here that's willing to help and. Uh, no, there's just a lot of players here, a lot of yeah. talent, uh, a lot of athletes, and uh, it's, it's, it really will help you.